Let us take a deeper look at the main front panel in this tutorial. The wind panel allows you to sculpt the character of your wind in real time. From fluttery, or stormy, to gusty. The wind characteristic you choose will determine the shape of the modulation that is distributed to all modulatable parameters throughout the entire instrument. Here, for example, the wind modulation is applied to the wind speed. The wind speed is the most important parameter as it controls the speeds of the wind and the intensity of the overall sound. Let us switch to a different preset to go a little more in-depth here. If you click on the gear wheel under the speed parameter, you open its modulation spread menu. The modulation spread slider allows you to delay the speed modulation signal for each resonator channel individually. The higher the spread amount, the wind modulation will get more decorrelated for the separate channels. In extreme mode, the modulation is fully decorrelated for each resonator. But let's keep it at 0% for now. The inertia slider is a recurring parameter and can be found in all modulatable sections. High amounts will smoothen the modulation while low amounts will allow the wind modulation to be more instant and dynamic. We can hear how the inertia slider is affecting the wind speed modulation. By clicking on the gear wheel, you open the inertia's submenu, where you can lower the inertia values for each resonator channel individually. Hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Find out more about all features of Wind Machine in our next tutorial.